it. Turn a half forward. A hand pass to Richardson. Richardson looking for McKenna and finding him. And 99 for the season. Peter McKenna chasing 100 as he comes in now. And that's it. That's 99 on the board as McKenna puts through his fourth for the... Stewart who sends forward once again. It looks as if Lee Adamson is the player off for Collingwood to allow Thompson to come on. McKenzie into the centre and the mark taken by Greening. Greening now quickly on with play. Goes out wide towards the flank to Tottenham. Tottenham in trouble, but centres it beautifully to Max Richardson. Richardson on with play. Goes out wide again. Coles. Coles running right. Shoots for goal. Sit back into the pack. Ian Stewart comes out holding his head. Forgets that as play goes on. Taken by Max Richardson out to the forward line. McKenna's running up. Umpire Peter Shields has to bounce it. Half forward flank with the Magpies in attack as Lenny Thompson goes up and perfectly down to Richardson. Richardson down to the pocket and big Graham Jenkins again. Football it is a shoulder to shoulder stuff. Magnificent final football as Len Thompson thumps it out to Max Richardson in a flash. It goes out. Look out, you're in trouble, Collingwood. But the chance is there for Dicky Wearmouth. Off he goes downfield on the boundary line and boots it down. There's nobody home. Neil Baum takes it and Baum is off. He's tackled by Peter McKenna with a late one. Underneath it, Collingwood Richardson takes the mark. And quickly across to Greening. Greening boots it down to Tug to Brett Britt. Britt takes the mark. Oh, and a good tackle that time by Alford as McKenna was going past him. Graham Jenkins calls for the big one. And down it comes towards him and Leach is with him all the way. Jenkins on and he's on the half forward flank. A wonderful solo effort. And underneath it is Ted Potter to take a safe chest mark. Warming up on the boundary for Richmond is, is green and it won't be long before he comes on. A good pass is taken there by Max Richardson getting plenty of kicks in this third quarter. Duns his target all the time and Duns a great target. I thought that was a mark picked up by Britt. The mark goes to Dunn. Dunn then boots it downfield looking for McKenna. At the third quarter. The Collingwood crowd has come to life once again as Thompson again repeats the dose. Max Richardson, ball on stream. Free kick to him. As you know, Max Richardson is a beautiful kick of the football, and he will penetrate the Richmond defence with this one. It's a shorty to Coles. Wolf. Henry Coles came on to replace Wayne Richardson, his captain, halfway through the second quarter. Collingwood have both reserves on the ground. Thompson replaced Lee Adamson at half time. Coles lines up a long punt kick. Close. Minus. 25 minutes just ticked over. Heard gets a tap down. Over towards Price. Price gets it over to Richardson. He's up forward. The pack flies. No mark. Here they go. It's Oborn once again. Austin after him. Over to Twiggy Dunn. Dunn hooks it over. Thompson's waiting there. Thompson turns around and triggers it through. Hits the ground. Rasmussen. Ivan Rasmussen comes in. Bumped by Manassa. In comes Scott. Stoneham. Foot spray. Blake Pearson, Stoneham gets the tumble. Over he goes. Put it on. Over to Max Richardson. Tap the ball on the ground once. Richardson coming up towards Merrington. Handballs over his head too, as you can see. Dean. Richardson again. Good play by Max Richardson. Listen to the cheering of the crowd. 15 yards from Blake. Pocket. We've now been playing four minutes of the first term and no score on the board at, as yet. Up they fly. Heard taps at the back of the pack. Trimmons in there also. Picked up and snapped by Wade Richardson. Now it's Max Richardson's third. He snaps back over his head. And a good goal. Kicked by Max Richardson and Collingwood for the first score of forward zone. It's a high kick. The man at the back is Robert Dean flying high. Can't take the mark. It's on the turf. A chance for uh, Richardson once again. Max Richardson. And another goal to Max Richardson. 9,000, which would be a record for a home and away match here at Waverley. The enormous crowd as uh, the Collingwood machine moves into motion. The handball goes across towards Wearmouth. Wearmouth in the centre wing, transferring play towards the half forward line. The two number ones contest and a great mark to Wayne Richardson. Collingwood player on the ground at half back flank. Has not moved. We'll pick up that player in a moment, but uh, the Collingwood side move into the towards their fortunes I've seen. A high kick in the air by Stevenson. A wasted opportunity. Thumped away by Cranage. It's in the hands now of Cranage. Right back to Max Richardson. A short kick by Richardson has found Beck. Beck looking for uh, drawing the man to him. Hand pass to Price. Price at centre half forward. Lines it up and he's put it through. The game. Oh. Robbie Walls. We'll be back to Jeff Clifton to drive the ball into play. Just uh, there's a story of the, the uh, game on the board. Just having looked downfield, and uh, believe you me, the runners are certainly being well worked today. Jeff Clifton defending out towards the grandstand side of the ground. Peter Jones into the back of Thompson, and Dean Chippigan marking easily. 
That's Robert a good move. Dean. That's the second time that Thompson and Jones have competed, and Dean chipped in to take the mark. The kick's up toward Bissett in the centre of VFL Park. Bissett takes the mark, and umpire Robertson says, it's yours. You can play on now, which he does. Looks for Max Richardson. He's uh, being chased by Kevin Hall. The ball on the turf in front of this pair. Neither can grab it as yet. Oh, Richardson well recovered there. He picked it up nicely. He left puts it up towards the half-forward zone. It's beaten all. Men never have your opponent kick the ball over your head when shooting for goal, but that's what Nichols did to Gott. It's been picked up by Max Richardson. The hand pass comes up to Cranich. Greenwich crossing the centre and driving up toward half forward. McKenna hasn't had a touch in this. Against Jones. Jones gets the front position, taps it down towards Armstrong. Quickly onto the left, but he goes. His kick's ill directed. An easy mark to Thompson. A hand pass whipped across and it's been taken here in Collingwood. About to move further forward, but got plenty of weight being used as Thompson picks up. Shoots one across there towards Greenwich. Hit Greenwich as a centre half forward. Dool in close attention as Greenwich breaks clear. Gets onto the right foot. Thompson calling for the hand pass. It's Max Richardson who chips in and takes it. He gets back on the right foot. 58 metres out from goal. Let's fly with a long kick, but well on that occasion to take the mark. It's the kick is toward Crane. Crane and Oborn will fly for this one, and Oborn getting in front, taking the mark. Oborn dashes away. Hand pass to Max Richardson. He straightens up from 30 metres out, shoots at goal. Umpire indicates all clear, and Cody would have come back to a tune of six points by Max Richardson, and at six points the difference in Carlton's favour. Eight for his teammate to get clear, the teammate being Rob, uh, Green Quirk. Quirk and turn up towards half forward, Frank Walsh is there for Carlton. A good defensive mark to O'Callaghan. Strong mark by O'Callaghan at centre half back, going for the short kick in toward Max Richardson. Has the ball on his chest, dragged to ground, a 15 metre penalty will be applied by umpire Ian Robinson against Kevin Hall. If he doesn't hurry up and take his position on that mark, he'll be paid another 15 metre penalty. Rather, well, I won't say foolish tackle because it helped the Carlton uh, backman cover the Collingwood forwards. A big kick by Max Richardson up towards Thompson. He was pushed to take the mark, I think. He must be that excited. Wayne Richardson now looking upfield. Up into the forward pocket, he kicks. It's Jenkins with a back berth against Jones. Can't mark. Here they come, Max Richardson on the left foot. A high kick, it's covered the 15 metres. That's one for the high flyers. They get up. At the MCG, umpire Bill Gower bounces the ball, starting the first quarter of the preliminary final, Collingwood versus Richmond. The big sensation of the day is that Royce Hart, the Tiger captain, is 19th man. There's Graham Jenkins getting the first kick of the match. Jenkins selected at centre half forward. It'll get Bobby Skilton to pick things up in a minute. Richardson of Collingwood having won the toss. They're kicking down to the Richmond end the, or the outer end. Here's a chance for Max Richardson now in the early moments of the game. He puts it through. 30 seconds into the opening of the preliminary final. Max Richardson of Collingwood, a left footer right through the big ones. Bobby. A oh, great goal, Mike. And a, a it's offline in any case, close to the pocket there. Knocked away through, they come. Lamb over runs the ball, picked up by Cranage. Cranage goes deep to the flank on the outer side. Wood is there, but they all stand around waiting. But Wood eventually recovers well. Through comes Max Richardson. He breaks clear. It's pressure. It's close to the boundary line. The ground. It's Jenkins and Green jostling for position as Green gets it over the back, but it's taken by Bissett. His kick smothered. It's recovered now by Salmon of Collingwood. A hand pass from Salmon goes forward as we see Max Richardson come through. He gets a hand pass to Bissett and Bissett pulls the ball wide to the Huss in a wing position. Thompson comes Clay now kicks out, goes forward. And the ball is marked there by Max Richardson. Max Richardson about to drive the Magpies forward. Oh, it's a nice kick. It's right into the goal square. Thompson. 15 minute mark, rather, in the first quarter. There's Dick Clay kicking out, goes straight up the centre. Glorious kick by Clay into the centre. It's punched forward. It goes towards Max Richardson, who brilliantly gets it to Thompson. Thompson straight down the centre. The glorious goal by Thompson. Forward flank for Collingwood, out of sight of the ground. Thompson and Roberts jostling for positions. Thompson takes the ball, a high hand pass. Goes to Max Richardson, good play on that occasion. Richardson goes short, looking for Bissett. Bissett takes for Stewart. Puts the ball to the half forward flank for the Tigers. Taken by Rex Hunt. Hunt back in towards centre half forward. Through comes Holmes. Holmes of Collingwood down to the forward zone. Up goes Thompson, he recovers quickly. He tries a hand pass across here to Max Richardson. He screws it around. Well, Stewart wasn't going to get up and off the ground in a hurry. 
from the bounce. It's again Heard and Roberts. Roberts got the knock, but it's taken by Matt Wayne Richardson. Richardson goes straight across the ground looking for Atkinson. Atkinson leads Sheedy in the race for the ball. He's got far more pace than Sheedy. He balks around, gets past Sheedy, has plenty of time to steady up, has a couple of bounces, goes for a hand pass to Thompson. Thompson swings around, runs around Sproul, a hand pass to Max Richardson, back to Thompson. And so the puts go forward with a long kick by Thompson. It could be a goal! putting his third goal on the board and I repeat once again that uh, Collingwood with their positional but it goes right now to Payne Payne of uh, Richmond over centre half ball the pack flies got knocks the ball away taken by Cranage of Collingwood Cranage goes right down towards centre half forward oh and Michael Green had that ball in his hands and Dean came like the daring young man and took it there's a short one it could be dangerous but it comes off the Max Richardson Richardson breaks clear, he plays it to right end, puts it through, it's another one. Collingwood 6 goal 7 as Bruce Willen, it's Payne who's, who's down on that half-back line, Bartlett's kick, dropping short, it's punched away by Hearn, goes to Bissett again, Bissett a hand pass across to Clifton, and Collingwood stream down the ground as Clifton gets a hand pass across, taken by Holmes, Holmes back to Clifton, Clifton goes over the top again to Atkinson, Atkinson further down the ground to Thompson, Thompson runs back the wrong way. Now gets a kick back into the centre of the ground. And it's Max Richardson. And Dick Clay's gone onto the forward line for the Tigers. Kick now from Max Richardson. It's a long one to the edge of the goals. Green. Green's up, up in front. A good effort to mark by Green. Call play on as Adamson bursts away from the pack. A hand pass to Max Richardson. Richardson on now to Cranage. Cranage with a left foot kick goes wide. But there's nobody home for Collins. However, up goes Jerker Jenkin, couldn't get a clean hit away, taken by Francis Burke. He just couldn't get it, but Jenkin comes through like a train, picked up by Max Richardson. Max Richardson of Collingwood into the forward zone. Thompson. Of, uh, Dick Clay, a long kick down forward. The players set themselves. And here we find Collingwood about to go back into attack. Here's a go for Max Richardson. Almost lost his head then, but it's his mark on the half forward flank on the outer side of the ground too far out for him to kick it but he tries to pass will it come off yes looks like atkinson with it francis burke going crook atkinson has kicked two he's on an angle but he's no more than 40 meters out plenty of goal space open to him an accurate one here will notch a major up he comes he kicks and Hand pass to Armstrong, back to Robertson. Robertson's half-back flank now. Boots it towards the centre uh, half-forward position. And Max Richardson, a great mark over Jesselenko. Two great champions opposed on that occasion. Richardson now, up towards centre half-forward. Chance for us, Cutlick, to hook it back towards the forward pocket. Walls is there. It's thumped away by Gott in fine fashion. A chance now for Wayne, for Max Richardson to pick it up for the Magpies. Has time to steady. Boots it along the centre wing. It's all Carlton here. Has With Carmen in magnificent touch all season, it was difficult to believe that the Magpies had to battle to get into the finals. They beat Melbourne by one point in the last game to secure fifth place, but were bundled up by Richmond the very next week in the elimination final. Earlier in the season, Peter McKenna had retired after having part of his kidney removed.